Do you ever wonder what you would get if you combine Superman, Deadpool, and Harry Potter into one movie? <gasps> well, wait no further, you crazy person, because Shazam! Exclamation point, flew into theaters. And to many fans' relief, the movie has been met with welcomed praise. Except for me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I'll get into it. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. Shazam was actually the original Captain Marvel in the comic books back in the day. And over the years, in an attempt to force third wave feminism down comic book readers' throats, the female Captain Marvel was introduced and uh, pretty much failed. In fact, the current Carol Danvers Captain Marvel from the 2000 comic books, you know that comic book that still no one reads, is the seventh iteration of the character. I'm not kidding. But it was still made into a movie and is the Captain Marvel we know today. You know, the same one that's going to be forced into Avengers Endgame. We all want that, right? Right? Personally, I would love the Billy Bats and Shazam Captain Marvel in the Avengers, but that's never gonna happen for legal reasons because DC stopped making Captain Marvel in the 50s. So then Marvel got the rights to Captain Marvel and made him a girl, and then DC came back in the 70s and made Shazam. It's all just crazy. Bottom line, it's complicated. It's not gonna happen. Ben, why are you talking about this? How was the movie? How was Shazam? Exclamation point. All right, let's do it. As a viewer, I give it a three out of five. And by the way, I know it's Shazam. I just think it's funny having Shazam! Exclamation point in the poster. Like, why? And I'll admit, maybe it's just me, because critics and fans alike have praised this movie. It just really didn't do it for me, and I'll start with the good here. It's fun, it's funny, and it's different. But here's the main reason why it threw me as a viewer watching this movie. It should have either been PG or PG-13, not whatever it is. You literally go from slapstick silly to a guy grabbing his brother, murdering him, ripping through a window, and letting him fall to his death. We go from demons melting people and sons killing their fathers to wedgies in high school. I just could not handle it. It was as if some mom was like, hey, can we make a Deadpool movie and just throw in some like Barney to make it more fun? As a critic, I give Shazam exclamation point a three out of five. Again, let's start with the good. This is the best cast of kid actors I've seen in years. Jack Dylan Grazer, Faith Herman, Hoven Armand are all just super charming and genuine to watch. Zachary Levy as Shazam also did a good job. And the sound mixing in particular was awesome. Every time there's a Shazam lighting flash, you feel it and it sounds great. That was the best part. Other special effects, eh. But for me, a lot of the problem was the setup and story structure. The setup was literally 20 minutes of one perfectly crazy, convenient, magic word salad moment after another. Which would seem hard to believe until you get to the high school, where bullies are so on the nose they literally beat up cripples in broad daylight in front of the entire student body and faculty. Like, what? Like, please, take me back to the magic land. That's more believable. And you know from the trailer, Shazam is a kid and he transforms into a big man. And I have to say, it gets so tiring to watch these kids turn into adults and the adult actors act more childish and over the top than the mature kids did. Like, the adults act more childish than the actual kids. And the muscle body suits. I... <laughs> I guess I'm just spoiled from Christian Bale and Ben Affleck actually putting on weight to do roles. Anyway, my faith in values is actually a 5 out of 5, and this is where Shazam! Exclamation point shines. Besides the obvious of literally fighting the seven deadly sins, the theme of family is honestly very well done. From the heartbreak and life-defining impact of parents walking out on their kids, to the hope and love shown by these amazing foster parents, who genuinely seek to raise these kids and instill values, to the relationships with the siblings themselves, and the need to selflessly serve one another to truly be super. There is also a beautifully done tragic moment with a parent who does not want a child. Because in their own words, it's not a good time for them. And you feel that weight. You feel the emptiness as a result of living with that selfish and shameful mentality. Living for yourself never works. All in all, I'll admit that maybe it's just me. Maybe Shazam! Exclamation point is awesome. And at least there are some great themes strung out throughout the movie. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. Well, that's the end of the video. So why don't you like and subscribe and even click that little bell down there so you never miss another video.